Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things narcissism and this video is going to be about some things that a narcissistic person will purposefully withhold from you to either coercively control you or to punish you. When it comes to narcissistic people, they feel entitled to have everything their own way. They like the empathy to care for how their behaviour affects you. They are incredibly exploitative people. They believe that they are special. They are arrogant enough not to recognise their own wrongdoings. They simply just pass the blame over to you and they require that excessive admiration. And if they're not getting the admiration that they believe they're entitled to, they're going to go all out to punish you. However, they don't just jump straight in there and do this. What they do is they treat you so well and listen to you like they understand you because they're wanting to gather the information that later down the line they can use against you. And then as soon as they've not got their needs met, they turn against you and they punish you, yet they do it in such a way that they get you to blame yourself and doubt yourself and work harder to please them. So one thing a narcissistic person will withhold from you is affection. When it comes to a narcissistic person, they can be some of the most affectionate people you can ever meet when they want something from you. However, when they're not getting what they want, when they've lost interest in you, when they're bored, when they're looking for a new source of supply, when they're wanting to punish you, they will withhold that affection. They will withhold that from you to punish you and to control you. Now, when it comes to ourselves, when somebody is being cruel to you, when somebody is being unkind to you, when somebody is insulting you, it is natural to become less affectionate towards them. So yes, people can behave in that manner who are non-narcissistic. It's the lead up to the events. It's the intentions behind the behaviour that differentiate the two different people and why they are behaving in such a manner towards another person. To a narcissistic person, you can just use the wrong tone of voice in asking them if they're okay and they get offended by this. You can just take five minutes too long in answering a message and they get offended by this. And they seek to withhold that affection to punish you. Another thing they withhold is attention. Again, usually to punish you, to make you feel like you're not worthy. It destroys your confidence because you don't want to be out there saying, hey, look at me, look at me, I'm here, like narcissistic people tend to do. So you don't want to be over the top with them, yet you don't really want to be the victim and say, hey, you're not really giving me much attention. So you kind of, you're stuck in that place of just trying to work out what to do for the best because they've taken all attention from you. However, they go overboard in the attention to begin with. They shower you with flattery. They want to spend so much time with you. They constantly message you. They constantly bring you, claiming that they care about you and they just can't get enough of you. And it is very flattering and that's all it is, it's flattery. And we confuse that for compliments. And then once they've got us where they want us, we become so used to being treated like that when they're not getting what they want from us, they take it away. And we question where we went wrong, what we did wrong, what we can do to bring that person back who cared so much. And there's nothing you can do. It's just a, a game they are playing. Again, when a narcissistic person is going after you, when they're attacking you, when they're saying cruel and unkind things towards you, it's natural to then take your attention away from them. Often, this is a bit of a learning curve as we usually believe we know them and jump on our defences and try to communicate with them to begin with and that doesn't work. And we try so many different methods to get it back to what it was and nothing seems to work and then we get to a point where we've just had enough 
and then they get the face on that they're no longer getting the attention that they believe they're entitled to. Support. Narcissistic people can come on strong with the support in the beginning. There's no task too small. They, they know somebody for the job. They will help you out in any way they can. They will always be there for you as you will be there for them. You drop things to help them because you care about them and you want to support them. And then slowly over time, they take this support away from you. They're too busy for you. And this gets you questioning your self-worth and what's wrong with you? What have you done? This gets you to doubt who you are as a person as they take more and more of that support away from you. However, the more you start doing things for yourself, the more they'll accuse you of doing doing it wrong or not needing them or not asking for their help. And they will do something for you and they will purposefully do it badly so that when you try to just have that healthy conflict with them about something to understand each other they can just turn around and say I don't know why I bother and then not do it for you anymore however if you don't support them in every thing they want to do if you don't drop everything to serve them they're going to accuse you of being selfish of being awkward of being stubborn they expect you to abandon your family abandon your children abandon your career, abandon your job, abandon your finances, abandon your responsibilities to serve them. And if you don't abandon your responsibilities to serve them, they're going to paint you out in a negative light. They're going to accuse you of being the awkward one and the stubborn one. However, they won't even have a responsibility. They'd still rather sit there and watch something on their phone or something on the TV than pay any sort of attention to you because they've got what they wanted from you. Another thing a narcissistic person will withhold is sex. Now, many people, when it comes to a relationship with a narcissist, can find sex one of the most intense stages of the relationship. However, at first it's that love bombing, so you've got that connection with them. The sex might be good, it might not be good, but because you've got that connection with them in the love bombing, it feels intense, it feels strong. And then later down the line, when they start withholding it from you and taking it away from you, when you do get it, that's that's the only time you're close to them. So it, it builds that connection with them and they will withhold it. On the flip side of that, you can get to a point where they've been so cruel and unkind towards you that the last thing you want to do is get into bed with them. They're going to be offended by this. Or you might have some form of responsibility, but they want you to stop and not do that. They don't care who's around. They want you to stop and serve them sexually. And when you don't, they get offended and say, don't come to me when you want it later. The truth is another thing that they will withhold from you because... They're incredibly exploitive people. They're incredibly devious people. They don't want you knowing the truth. They want to gaslight you into living life on their terms. Compliments is another thing. They can come on strong with that flattery and then all of a sudden they start giving you those black backhanded compliments to subtly discredit who you are as a person. Praise is another thing that a narcissistic person will withhold from you because they can't be pleased for you. They can't be happy for you. They don't want to see you doing well. They don't want to see you succeeding. So even if it's down to how you look, they don't want to tell you you look good. They're just going to tell you that you look better than you did yesterday to get you to question how you looked yesterday. Communication is another thing that they withhold. It's very difficult to communicate with those who do not want to communicate with you. And if things aren't going on us this way, they are going to simply just shut down the conversation and fall silent on you so that you're the one that's left ruminating about what you did wrong. And it causes that psychological pain and you go chasing them for answers. And the more you chase them, you're in the wrong for not leaving them alone and not giving them any space. Yet, if you give them the space and respect their silence and pay them back with the silence because they don't want to communicate with you, they're going to be offended that you didn't go and chase them. Now, a narcissistic person uses the silent treatment to manipulate you. When you fall silent on a narcissist because you're just done with the situation, 
You're doing it to create those boundaries, to create those walls around you so that you no longer have to deal with them. However, with the trauma bond, you can potentially, when they come back for the hoover and all the charismatic charm they had in the beginning, you can then let your walls down and let them back in. So it feels like you're being manipulative when what you're doing is trying to recognise who they are and break the trauma bond and walk away. Resources. They will withhold financial resources and they will withhold emotional support. By withholding financial resources, it keeps you trapped in the situation longer. By withholding emotional support, this helps them to toy with your emotions to work in their favour so that they can exploit you and get their needs met from you. There are plenty of things that a narcissistic person withholds because they feel entitled to do so and they seek to punish you, and they use it to coercively control you. Anything you notice, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go in contact, and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.